club. Maybe it's a metaphor or maybe it's nonfiction. You I don't have know. to we'll read We'll have the to book. see. <laughs> Good plug there. Yeah, we're going to have uh, hot weather headed our way the next couple of days, kind of similar to today. We hit 91 at the airport. No rain uh, in Corpus Christi, but there were some showers to our south and west. There's that nice looking bluer sky showing up on the tower cam. It's 89 right now with an east to northeast wind at eight miles per hour. The rainfall today was primarily in the southwestern corner of KIIII country, close to Hebronville, northern Jim Hogg County, and a lot of that ended up going down to the valley with the upper level wind field coming in from the north and east, uh, driving that down to the valley. So the system that brought the rain here yesterday in the Gulf now delivering us the drier upper level winds, and that's why our forecast is going to get quieter and then it'll get hotter with high pressure building into the south. So Friday is going to be hot. So will Thursday. And this is the feature that will end up dropping a weak front our direction. That's the forecast placement on Friday. Right now, it's still in Canada. You can easily see the system that uh, we're going to be following. So next couple of days, quiet, no issues at all. Just going to be hot with mainly sunny skies. And then this front comes in on Saturday. It looks like in the afternoon sometime. And that's when the rain chances will start to go up. It's going to be scattered. It's not going to be an all day type of rain. Uh, so if you have any plans, something like shrimpery, just know that rain may be a possibility heading into Saturday afternoon and night. And then Sunday, it looks like this front edges to the south just a little bit. And I will say that the farther south this goes, the lower the rain chances locally will be. So we're going to have that for the weekend. And then with the front over us, one more little trigger for the rain chances will be this upper level energy coming in from the west. This is Saturday night, so that's another thing uh, that's going to be working in the favor of rainfall production heading into Saturday afternoon or night and early Sunday. Again, Sunday may drop the rain chances a little lower. It just depends on how far south uh, that front goes. It's not going to do much to temperatures. Although it will take some of the edge off of the heat, the heat index will be close to 100 through Saturday and then Sunday a high of 85 with the heat index in the lower 90s. So not as oppressive uh, behind that weak front over the weekend. Tonight, some areas of fog possible overnight. 70, the forecast low, the light and variable wind. Tomorrow will top out close to 90 again. Heat index up around 97 and an east to southeast wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour. The waters will be great tomorrow. They were good today, going to be similar to uh, what it was today for tomorrow with the light winds coming in out of the southeast, smooth on the bays. Water temps right at 80 degrees and pretty hot here through Saturday, Saturday afternoon slash night. We'll have to start paying attention to the radar as that front starts to work in. Uh, but over the next couple days, we're going to start to get higher resolution data and forecast modeling on that. So it may shift around just a little bit, but uh, right now, including a little bit of rain Saturday afternoon and night. Okay. Yeah. All right, Alan, thank you.